the Texas 12 pack presented by Texas Farm Store Coyote Country 104.9 it's 104.9 Coyote Country it's a Texas 12 pack we got special guest in the studio Caitlin Kohler Caitlin, how you doing, ma'am? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Thanks so much for joining us here in the studio. Now, uh, you are an up-and-coming Texas country artist. Yes, now, yes. I say that, but I mean, you, you've probably been in the scene longer than I have. So, go ahead and tell <laughs> me a, a brief history of, of what you've done so far in your young but already successful career. Um, well, I mean, I started out doing music as a kid. I did choir and I played the piano all through school and all the way through college. I went to college for music and then I started working with my manager now and started um, recording and getting music out. And now we're going on, you know, doing radio interviews and we're working on um, performances and everything. And so it's all kind of a little bit new for me, too, but it's really, really cool. Now, from what I understand, I, I read a quick bio on you. You were born in Corpus Christi. Yes, sir. And then yeah. you, have you been around, you know, other places since then? Yeah, um, my dad was a pilot in the Navy, so I was a military brat, Uh-oh. so we grew up all over. Like, I lived in Texas, in California, Mississippi, Washington, Japan for a little bit, but and then Missouri, and then I came back and went to college in Dallas, and I'm moving to Beaumont in a couple months, so pretty, a lot of Texas, but yeah, all over. Cool, so where'd you go, where'd you go to college in Dallas? I went to Dallas Baptist University. Oh, DBU. You know, yes, sir. I, somebody, <laughs> some people don't know this, but I spent 20 years in radio in Dallas. Oh, wow. I was a rock guy at KEGL. Cool. You know, 97 won the Eagle? Yes. That's right. I worked there for many, many years. So awesome. back in the day when you were growing up listening to White Zombie and, you know, that stuff. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so again, Caitlin Kohler's here. Now, um, where have you been thus far on your little radio tour? I mean, you're hitting all, all over the state, right? Like probably yeah. 30, 40, 50 stations? I mean, pretty much, yeah. We've been all over to, you know, little places, big places. Just, um, yeah, all you know, we're through Missouri. Just getting yeah. ready to go up through Tennessee. And- yeah, and we're about <clears> to uh, <throat> do the Americana station, so we'll be going wow, to Tennessee, okay. Florida. But, yeah, a lot of stations. So not just Texas, Texas, but, you know, the region yeah, all, and, and all beyond. All over the south, yeah. <laughs> so... Broke on the music road charts this last week. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. so so you're you're you've got a charting single now. Which uh, what's mm-hmm. what's uh, the track called? We're going to play it here in a minute. Everything's here but you. Everything's here but you is a new single, which we're mm-hmm. going to get to in here in a moment. But um, so making the rounds, just getting the name out there. Mm-hmm. Um, how many recordings do you have so far? Um, on the EP, there's six. Okay. Yeah, and we'll be working on a new album soon, but we're pushing this one right now. So yeah. now, now I, I hate to even go here, but uh, I don't even have to say your age. But you seem like you're a pretty young lady. Yeah, I'm uh, 21. Okay, so. Mm-hmm. You know, when you say EP, I mean that, that tells me that you you know you're thinking in the in the mindset of records and collections. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people just put out singles. I mean, even yeah. established artists these days. Are, are you? Are you looking forward to putting out like a full length record? No, I am. I'm okay. really excited to. So you kind of get the old school record mentality. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so did you grow up? I mean, oh, even though you're only 21, did you grow up listening to like albums or I guess CDs or whatever? I did. Yeah. yeah. Most of my music collection is on CDs. I'm still very much the physical kind of person. Uh-huh. Um, but uh, both my parents we uh, listen grew up grew up listening to um, country like you know like Garth Brooks, George Jones, George Strait, like that kind of country. But I also really really love classic rock and I love you know the old these like the 40s and things and so i have a record player in my room and i have a whole bunch of old albums and stuff but yeah i just love all kinds of music so what what, what are some of your very favorite artists or or, or I, <laughs> two, two part question what are some of your favorite personal artists you know and then what are the what are the artists that seem to have uh, maybe influenced you the most in what you're doing okay um well journey is my all-time favorite what? Band, journey? Like, ever awesome. i love journey yeah. so so much um and then just a bunch of other classics like i love the eagles and aerosmith and bon jovi and um all kinds of um, Led Zeppelin and then like oldies as far and I love Nat King Cole like Unforgettable wow. is one of my favorite songs and Tony Bennett and Frank Sinatra and Ella Fitzgerald and um, Otis Redding and Ray Charles just like all all kinds of people but. you remind me of my, I've, got a, I've got a daughter about your age <laughs> yeah. you remind me of her because she's got great taste so your dad must <laughs> be doing things right very cool yeah. um, now I also read quickly in your bio that you're a big Star Wars fan is that right very much so. that, that's another thing where dad had to come in do, doing his job right oh right? yeah no I grew I grew up on Star Wars Mm-hmm. Okay, so now when Love you said it. grew up with it, now obviously you were you were raised dur- during the prequel era, yes. um, is when you really came yeah. into it. Now, mm-hmm. do you do you like the original trilogy, the prequels, or this new stuff? What, what, what's your favorite era of the Star Wars? I honestly love all of it. Yeah? I mean, the originals are obviously you know the original trilogy is. And then I like, um, I guess I like the new stuff a little bit better than the prequels. Mm-hmm. A lot of the hardcore like purest Star Wars fans. Just pure Star Wars fans would probably hate me because I don't think the prequels were that bad. I really do. Mm. I really do like them. I like them all. But, 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 but it's your generation. I mean, yeah. my kids are the same way. They yeah. don't hate them because they grew up with them. Right. They don't really know any better. They were. I mean, and exactly. I get it. Whenever you and know I, my. 
my son, who's now 19, uh-huh. he grew up with Anakin being a kid, and it was a kid right, movie, and Jar Jar right. doesn't bother him. People yeah. like me and probably no. your dad, it's, Jar exactly. Jar's like, oh, it's exactly. intolerable. I yeah. know, and it's like, Jar Jar doesn't bother me. I, he is kind of annoying, but he doesn't like bother me. Like, I hate Jar But But then again, I, and I think that we, some of those people we're talking about, we got to remind them that, you know, my dad thought Ewoks were ridiculous. Yeah. You know? I love the Because Ewoks. they were catering to kids and, and mm-hmm. whatnot, and I didn't, they didn't bother me. Right. So yeah, it's all about a generational yeah. thing. So are you excited about the new, the final installment of Star Wars? Come on. I am so freaking excited excited like yeah. i can't even contain myself how do you think it's gonna play out what do you think what are your predictions i honestly don't have any for this right. one i have a lot of predictions for marvel and stuff like i always have a feeling i know it's gonna happen but uh-huh. with star wars i never know wow very good well again yeah. i think you papa raise your right you, you like the star wars so I, we can go on and on about that but yeah. let's go back yeah. to the music so uh so again uh born in corpus christi military uh-huh. brat got around the world you know did your thing now you're here you got a new ep coming out is mm-hmm. it out now available yes okay yeah, so what's on, the ep called it's i mean it's self-titled caitlin okay. kohler everything's here but you but i mean it's on itunes spot Spotify, Amazon, you name it, it's uh, available to download. It's also on my um, website, CaitlinKohler.com. So, so again, we got Caitlin Kohler here. She's yeah. got the uh, self-titled EP, six tracks available now. And uh, for those that we're about to play the record, but um, how would you describe your just sound in general for those who haven't heard you at all? Um, well, it's definitely you know country, but I like to mix in a lot of. Um, jazz and uh, rock elements sometimes a little bit of pop elements but I like to take different styles of music and kind of infuse it into that country so it's kind of a I guess a more modern country I guess but sometimes you can get a little hint of vintage you know, not modern in like a beatbox no no, way, no 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 right? no no, no. I, just like mean, a... I just mean I just mean oh my gosh because you no. say modern country to some people yeah. they, they think the worst you know because yeah, there's no, some really no, no. bad country coming yeah. out of Nashville leagues I'm, I'm, I'm sorry but you know I, I'm not hating on anybody's art but right. I, I kind of feel like it's not art I yes. feel like it's a lot of it's just it's very this, much tailored for the radio yeah it's popular yeah they're just but, dance uh, they're just dance songs with some steel guitar yeah and you know, that's and it, i like to think that my music is a bit more than that like it's very much you know focused on the story it's got um a lot of good instrumentation and it gets a little bit of those vintage vibes in there like it's not just pure you know pop country it's got those rock elements it's got those you know blues elements and so well you're, you're preaching you're speaking my language here so that's yeah. good she got a really cool letter from michael alsop the lead singer of three dog night and michael said that he hadn't heard anyone sing with such tenderness in a long time that he reminds her of, of a young linda ronstadt wow wow well, young michael, linda ronstadt michael wrote her and said, michael from three dog night give you a uh, th- endorsement yeah. that's really cool yeah. man yeah, that, was, that's, that's those really are cool. five star words right there <laughs> Um, so, yeah, well, let's go ahead and get into the record. Then we're going to come back and we'll talk about the recording of, uh, of okay. the record, okay? Yeah. So you want to go and introduce it one more time? Uh, sure. Uh, the song's called Everything's Here But You. All right, again, it's Caitlin Kohler here. It's a Texas 12-pack on 104.9 Coyote Country.
104.9 Coyote Country, Texas 12 back going on. We got Caitlin Kohler right there. Everything's here but you. Her new single, you said it just started to hit the charts here uh, recently. Yes, but sir, which, yeah. which chart did it uh, debut on? Um, it debuted on the Texas charts. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, what were you coming on? Um, number 64 now. Number 64. Wow. Yes. Very good. All yeah. right. So climbing up the charts soon. It'll be on the countdown. Very yeah. cool. Open, yeah. So as far as the uh, the writing and recording of the album, or, or, mm-hmm. of that single in particular, yeah. um, where, where did it come from as far as the... Well, the song was written by um, Brie Bagwell, Tim Nichols, and mm-hmm. Phil O'Donnell, and they wanted me to sing it, and I was so excited when they gave me the song because I really, really connected to it. I thought it was really cool, you know, because it's about, um, you know, like I had, you know, a major heartbreak, and so... Um, you know, the girl in the song, like, she's, you know, walking through the house and she's reminiscing about all of these things and her relationship and stuff. And so it's, the song is kind of about the fact of coming to terms and realizing that the relationship is over. It's kind of like that finality of it, that moment where you realize, you know, he's gone. Um, So the song is co-written by by Brie Bagwell and she pretty much just handed you the song. Uh, So what was that? Did she, do you have, obviously had a relationship with her uh, prior to that. What what was, um, I guess, the impetus for her to give you the song? Um, Well, she, she works with, um, you know, my manager now. And so um, um, it was a professional relationship. Very good. Yeah. Have you ever played a gig with her or you guys open it? I haven't. I would love to, but I haven't yet. No. No, she's great. She comes yeah. out here. She drinks whiskey with us. Has a good time. <laughs> puts on a great show. And uh, yeah, yeah, she's a great songwriter too. So she is, yeah. uh, that's pretty cool. Well, you know, mm-hmm. having a, a Brie Bagwell song, you know, to, uh, coming out the out the gate with is pretty good yeah. deal. Yeah. So um, as far as the recording of the single, um, mm-hmm. where did you do you have a working band? Do you use uh, studio musicians at this point? What um, do you? I actually recorded this up in Nashville with a producer called Bobby Terry, and okay. he's really kind of big in Nashville. Like he just um, wrote Garth Brooks' new single that he came out with, wow. and so he actually actually did all of the music that is on the song like he played all of the instruments really? he even did the male background vocals yeah so he pretty much um you know took the song and took our ideas of it and put it together and uh yeah but he's he's an incredible incredible producer yeah well very good all right what's his name again bobby terry bobby terry coming up don't look that guy up that sounds phenomenal yeah. so and as far as the rest of the ep the other five songs mm-hmm. uh, give us a little bit of a preview or some information about what what's yeah. in that content all right well um one's called funny way it's kind of about um, you know, this guy, and uh, he says that he loves this girl, but he's not really showing it. And then uh, when I get to missing you, I guess that kind of speaks for itself. Like, it's I miss you so much, I can't wait until you come back. Mm-hmm. Um, when I kissed you, um, it's about this girl, and she loves this guy, and he doesn't love her back. And so she's like, when I kissed you, I should have never closed my eyes, and I should have never fallen in love with you because you don't love me back. And um, nothing is about, um, you know, it's another breakup song, and... Um, um, <laughs> Sorry, I blanked for a second. It's but, okay. But, We're not opening up wounds, are we? <laughs> no, uh, well, Ink, yeah, Ain't Gonna Take It is probably my favorite on the album, and it's a really, really heavy song, and it's about being in a relationship with a person that you shouldn't be in a relationship in. They're very, you know, kind of manipulative and um, controlling, and it's about breaking free of that and coming into your own. And then, um, you know, nothing is like a girl power song. Like um, I said, you know, it's a breakup song, but I'm not going to sit around and pout. I'm going to, you know, go out there and have fun, and I'm not going to dwell on this anymore. Well, right on. There you go, a little preview of the uh, K- uh, Caitlin Kohler EP, yeah. which is available now all the all the regular platforms yep. and stuff like yeah. that. And I sure, I, I guess you'll put out a regular CD since you're a fan of those. Sometimes can somebody um, order like if they want a CD of yeah, you? Yeah, we're on? working on it right now. Okay, very good. Mm-hmm. Do you know, wh- wh- where's the website and all that place where we can yeah. find out more about um, you? Well, my website is CaitlinKohler dot com. I'll just go ahead and spell it because one yeah. person asked me to spell it because there's like a million different ways. It's to spell tough. It. Yeah, I, I can only imagine. Uh, K a i t l y n k o h l e r. So CaitlinKohler dot com and then uh, my Facebook and Instagram handles are Caitlin Kohler Music. Well, very good. Well, thank you, yeah. Caitlin, for stopping by and uh, coming all this way. Yeah. Talk to us here in Uvalde, Texas. Yeah. And uh, so where are you heading next? Kerrville. Kerrville. And mm-hmm. then uh, you're just going to hang out in Texas for a while. And then, yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Very good. Well, we wish you the best. Thank you so much you for too. sharing yeah, your music you and your story with us. Again, it's Caitlin Kohler. Find her online at CaitlinKohler.com. And uh, this uh, wraps up the Texas 12-pack brought to you by Texas Farm Store at 236 East Nopal, bringing Texas to you here on 104.9 Coyote Country. Thank you. All right. Thank you. The Texas 12-pack presented by Texas Farm Store, Coyote Country, 104.9.